Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about 5 of the dictators who killed the most people in history. So much so that these men, these men, are really masters of slaughter, ruthless people. Killing, destroying is in the blood of these people. Here are 5 dictators who have been infected with the blood of thousands of people who have no feeling for humanity in history. 5. Hideki Tojo. He was a general of the Imperial Japanese Land Forces and the 40th Lieutenant General of Japan. Prime Minister. 2. During World War II, he committed genocide in China and Southeast Asia, causing the death of more than 5 million people. The Prime Minister of Japan, one of the leading responsible for the Pearl Harbor Raid, too. After the end of World War II, he was declared a war criminal by the International Military Criminal Tribunal for the Far East and was executed by hanging on December 23, 1948. According to some, he is considered to be a person along the same lines as Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini. 4. Joseph Stalin. He was the first general secretary of the Communist Party. After Lenin's death, he became Soviet leader in 1924. As soon as he came to power, he destroyed agricultural production in the name of industrializing the Soviets and caused a terrible famine. The number of starving people in Ukraine is more than 10 million. Towards the end of the 1930s, he made an initiative that he called, The Great Cleansing. This initiative has turned into a paranoid campaign in which he eliminates people who oppose him. It is said that Stalin even had the delegates who applauded him in his party speeches killed without showing his 32 teeth. In 1939, he made a non-aggression pact with Hitler, but Hitler did not comply with this agreement. The Soviets then joined the Allies and 23.9 million people died during the war. 3. King II. Leopold. He was the second king of Belgium, reigning between December 1865 and December 1909. He himself wholeheartedly believed in colonialism. He has written his name in history with the inhuman tortures and massacres he has inflicted on the people of the Congo. 2. During Leopold's reign, the population of Congo fell from an estimated 20 to 30 million to under 9 million. 2. Some of Leopold's words are as follows. Get along well with your neighbors, spread beyond the seas as soon as the opportunity arises. Take as much land as you can and gather it under our sovereignty, as soon as possible, without losing a single minute. This is a project to create and manage a state as large as possible. It should be clearly understood that we will not give blacks the slightest political say in this project. 2. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was born on April 20, 1889 in Austria. Contrary to what is known, he is not a German, but an Eurasian. Leader of the German Nazi Party. He was the only undisputed dictator of Germany between December 1934 and December 1945. His goal was to get rid of the Jews and establish hegemony in Europe. During his reign, German industry gained great momentum and was armed to terrible proportions. It caused the death of more than 17 million people, including 6 million Jews. Adolf Hitler's biggest and most tragic mistake was undoubtedly to declare war on Russia. The German soldiers who fought on many fronts remained in the decimation. Hitler, who saw that the course of the war was turning against the Germans and realized that he would be captured. He committed suicide on April 30, 1945, together with his wife Eva Braun. At his death, he ordered his body to be cremated by the order he gave to his commanders first. The reason for this was that he did not want to be captured by the Russian army and exposed. 1. Mao Zedong. The leader of the Chinese Communist Revolution killed more than 5 million people by executing or sending them to labor camps in his first five years in power. He had two social programs, which he called the Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution. The first goal is to industrialize China rapidly, 
more than 20 million people have died of hunger during the implementation phase of these programs. Then, under the name of socialist education, he began to kill intellectuals who opposed him. As a result of this program, 4 to 7 million people died. With Operation 100 Flowers, he caused 30 million people to starve to death in a few months. The number of people it has slaughtered is more than 50 million. He is the bloodiest dictator in the history of mankind. Even when we hear the number of people killed by these dictators, we are afraid. What do you think about these dictators? I look forward to your thoughts in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video.